Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sonic Lab Special. We've got Tom from Ableton. I'm sure everyone's probably familiar with Splice. So now you can access Splice directly from within uh, Live. And then it's going to find samples from the Splice library that work with that. So it's going to look at things like the key, it's going to look at things like chord progressions, right. tempo, all of that. <laughs> Now, in this particular sample, I just actually want the vocal. So I'm going to drag that in. And right on the sample itself, I can right click and separate stems to new audio tracks. Now, you can separate it into four different uh, stems, vocals, drums, bass, and others. And that's going to just do its thing. So that's really nice. But then we also now have this dedicated tremolo mode. So here we've got tremolo. But there's some nice kind of additional features that come with the tremolo. You can change the shape of this. Right. Oh, nice. Invert it if we want to get kind of like a pumping style effect. So let's move over to the push and look at one of the new features on the push. If I press the layout button a couple times, so you, you're familiar with on push, you've got these multiple different layouts mm. you can switch between. So this new layout, uh, XYZ mode. And what that does is it splits the grid. You've got notes at the bottom, but at the top, you've got this kind of chaos pad style X, uh, Y grid. Okay. This new ability to edit your notes, uh, you can do that on the push directly as well. So the way that works is let's say I want to edit this chord. I hold shift and press capture and it changes to the regular note grid. And I can play, let's go up an octave, play a chord. That's now learnt, I go out of that. And there's that oh, chord. That's handy. You can transpose the chords as well. You can go just by pressing the octave up and down buttons to transpose. 